Welcome, welcome to Tina Moda Shop. Today is our Thursday live. Let me show you. So today, I am, yesterday, uh, Jen from uh, Jahan Tolini uh, suggests that I should do space out theme. I should do like alien theme and these are psychedelic week. So yesterday, uh, a viewer just hear me say it and send me this picture and I absolutely love this picture. We're gonna do it today. We're gonna recreate that. So give me just one second. I am going to connect myself. This is our third theme for today, uh, for this week. Seems to go fine. Okay, good, 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 good. Just a second, just a second. <laughs> okay, let me show you. Okay. So today, oh, by the way, we still haven't found our pen yet. So today, um. Yeah, so today we're gonna use our iPad. Okay. I love this. Let's see if I can turn it like this. Actually, no. It's better up like this. That way you can see it and you can see my nail too. Let me turn on the light. Okay, you see it? Okay, now I have a nail, some nails right here. Hi, Heathers. Hi, everyone. Nifo, one, two, three. Oh, loving three, one, three. Hello. Ooh. Everything about Tino is lovely, lively, and contagious. Oh, thank you, Cassie. Oh, I love it. Hi, hi, Nora. Hello. Oh, Lelo, that is so sweet. Hi. I took a little time on my hair today, so no more adjustment is perfect. Okay, so let's start it. Hi, Ivy. Hello. Hi, Ivy. Oh, привет. Привет. Anya from Ukraine. Hola. Como estas hoy? Oh, muy bien hoy. Mi corazón. Oh, hola. Hola, mi corazón. Hola, Alet. Alet. Blue Nails, Mariah. Oh, hi everyone. Oh, Titi. Oh, Titi or Tini. Oh, I have a nickname. BGM. <laughs> BGM, call me Tini. <laughs> okay, now, uh, alien face right here, middle fingers. This one, I'm not going to draw an eyes. I'm not going to draw this eye because it's beautiful like this. But you have to remember, it's a tiny little nails. How much of this can you see? You know what I mean? So if we try to squeeze a little eye right here with the right proportion and everything far away, it can look funny. It can look like, what is it? You know, what in this little forehead? So I'm thinking, uh, just draw the face and then the eyes 
are in the ring fingers. Okay, that's easy. Or either that or a little planet floating around. We don't know. And two of these gonna be galaxy, but not like last time. Last time we used um we use galaxy chrome. So it's like cat eyes for color. That's our color last time. Uh the and mostly uh Aurora gel for color. This time our color gonna be stained glass. So we're gonna use stained glass for color. So it's gonna be brighter. All right, I'm gonna choose metal fingers and shadow is what I need. Thank you, Marion. Oh, hi, good from Irazel. Hello. Here. And I better put a paper towel whenever I don't need the picture, I put a paper towel here. So that's why it's not distracted. Oh, thank you, Karen. How are you feeling today, Karen? Feel a little better today? It have been like a week. I think it had been like a week. Um. Hi, Toronto. Hello. Oh, oh hi. Uh, Nata. Nata Chaduville. Oh. Wow, Simbra Tandril in Como Source Colores Todo Artista. Salud do mi apresia plevo, Tino. Gracias por compartir abrazo. Oh, it's me. Um, how do you say that? My pleasure. It's my gusta. My gusta. Okay, so the first thing I want is to draw the face. Okay, so I want to see if you can crack this layer. I will give you like 30 seconds to see if you can crack this. You know, what first? What's first? After 30 seconds, then I will crack that to see if we are right. So, what color first do you think? You think the blue first, the green first? What's up with this? Okay, let me see if you can crack that layers by just looking at it. Look a little harder. <laughs> Dissect it, separate the layer. Kill this. This uh, gonna be the ring finger. Oh hell, I'm just gonna do all fingers. It's all gonna be black. Actually, you know, instead of all black, I might, um, I think in a nude and then black tips for the galaxy because add a little elegant to it. Lately, we have do, we don't have a lot of nude in our design lately. Lately, we, we play with too much black. I'm going to leave room for some nude on my ring thing, on my uh, index and my pinky so it can look more elegant. So this is the pinky. I'm trying. Let's see, cream nude. Okay, I'm working with black, so it's a strong color. So I choose the fairest nude, so it's create more contrast to the design. Hear this. Okay, ring fingers done.
it might be the pinky. All right, let's see, let's see. He doesn't sell his, but many here create uh, into his. Thank you, Joe Nails. Hi, Joe Nails. Okay, now, this is what we're going to do. So, if you're looking at this, uh, first I, I was looking at this color. I love this color. Is it like a purple uh, colors? Okay. And then this is like a greenish color, but the outline is brighter. And um, there is some kind of blue right here. Okay. Like a blue outline. So what happened is I'm going to make one face shape. I'm going to take this bright pink and this bright green. I'm going to blend the whole face together. Okay. So green and pink blend everything together. Mm, let me pin my side. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see. Uh, the website is at www.tinovo.shop. And then I will add in color information. 417-772-4020 is color information. You can text her to ask for any help, except for product-wise. But you can ask for a crystal or shipping or shopping question, anything like that. So, oh, my outfit is not sexy today. I'm cute today. See that little heart? Little heart. Little embossed heart. Okay. So, after I have my green and pink, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take stained glass and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw blue stained glass right in the middle. And that is the result of this color right here. There is a pink in the background that has stained glass on it. So, it looks purple. Same with this. See, it's the same color green, but it has stained glass. So it looks a little darker, okay? So that's what we're going to do. All right. Metal finger, take it out. <clears throat> and for today, we're going to use pigment base. Let me see. <laughs> So this is what we're going to use, <clears throat> pigment base, take it out. Okay. Let's see what step step asking. Since um, Tino, if you see any of you lady my hat, this for me couldn't get the shine to bloom with a pigment base. Oh, shake it. It happened to me once before. Uh, do this, do this. Take this out, okay? Shake it or, or do this. So you open the lid, but you keep it. You keep the brush right here, and then you stir the bottom up like this. Remember the last slide? I take it out and like, what is let's take a little blow this loom so i just stir it up make you know i just wake everything else because sometimes when uh, you open a new bottle or something um stay on the shelf upside down or something like that you don't know so you're gonna wake it up and it's work like a job immediately i'm glad you asked it's happened to us last time on live i'm glad that it happened too but do's and don't is very important okay now 10 millimeter i'm taking it out this is relatively uh, um, easy shape to do. You do one curve on top. Just one curve from here to here. That's a fourth, that's a half of the circle. So one curve right here. Okay. And then go down. And when you go down, you start to V up. Okay. But it's not the really sharp V. It's have a blunt edge. But basically it's going in like a V. So this is like a uh, like a almond nails, okay. And I'm using pigment base, and I do want the face to be pretty big. 
<laughs> okay, just a curve. And then, let me adjust this angle just a little bit more. Okay, and then you go down. Same with this side, and then add a little lunge add right here for it. Fill in completely. See this pigment base, so it's very easy to fill in. Okay, it's liquidy. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna refine the head just a little bit. Okay, accidentally um paint out of line a couple of times. Okay, just like this. And now I'm gonna add drip to it. Oh, doesn't say uh, she mixed uh, her really well and it would not work. <sighs> hmm, I, I have to uh, do it again for you. Just in case, just in case you do something wrong. The shadow gel part, the cover is fire. Yes, but be careful with it. Don't do, don't do it like super thick. Let me see. Step, step, say she try it pink and thick. Mm, I got to demonstrate it for you guys. Just to make sure that everything is covered. Just in case if you put too much wire or something. Because we also play with uh, Shandit and Pigment Base this time too. We do need to bloom it. We used it yesterday, we're gonna use it again today. Maybe, maybe uh, something, maybe it's impatient or something. I don't know, we're gonna find out today. You're gonna see the timing that it takes to bloom and all that so bloom very fast bloom immediately okay so i'm gonna make some drips here also so now i'm just gonna pen just thin straight line down and then i just pick up some gel right here see a lot of gel and i just turn the head upside down and then i just press Press and press. Okay, don't move any further. Now I'm using a thin brush. See how thin my brush is? I'm gonna smooth it out. Don't look at the white, look at the black. Make sure all the edge is smooth. Okay. You have a nap. Uh, Oh, art gel pot and brushes. Okay, I thought you haven't had brushes it yet. Okay, thin line straight down. See a big one right here. Sorry, big one right here too. Okay, now 
I do want this drip to be a lot though. To be like a really big drips. And, and um, this is shadows with men that is no wipe. So pigment not gonna stick on it. If you're not using shadow, please put a no wipe top coat on before you put pigment base on. Okay, cure this for 60 seconds. Okay. See number one. Great. Can even work with the fingers. Okay. Oh, this is the first time I'm doing this. Okay. Um what is this? Oh, the mic. Apply shadow all over the nails, then here for 60 seconds. Apply pigment base. No. Use pigment base. Pigment base. Pigment base. To try base base to draw our alien face Keep here for 60 seconds damn it care here okay you know what screw series you don't understand me what's wrong with my accent i speak like a normal american person what's oh pigment okay so now this already here okay so I am going to go ahead and put pigment on this okay this is what I have two paper towel one as a palette and one as a cleanser, okay. The pigment is green, lamb green, and the brightest pink, because it have several shades. They have uh, this medium shade and the fuchsia, so I'm choosing the hot pink. Okay, so clean this. I don't get an accent, what accent? I'm fluent. Okay, see so it. You have to make sure that you smudge it all in your brush. Tap it out. <laughs> oh, clean, clean up the car is so funny. <laughs> Doesn't need to be like a, a court reorder recorder and sit next to him and type everything out. <laughs> Still a little dusty. Just remember, if you tap it out like this, look how nice it is. Nice and smooth. Okay. Just like that. Now, you cleanse it. <laughs> Love you too, queen of the claws. Don't crack your iPad. Oh, I hope not. It's like eighteen hundred. <laughs> uh, it's like eighteen hundred. Oh, almost may want to pass out when I buy it. <laughs> and they didn't really fix the issue or anything. It's Instagram. I found that out after I buy it. Gosh. I mean, anyway, it's nice though. 
it's nice. It's like what? Because we we don't watch TV. We don't own TV. We watch it on, on our phone or on our iPad. Um, yeah, I don't own TV. You mean we don't believe in watching TV? Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. A little bit of tangerine, please. Yeah, we don't we don't believe in watching TV. After Lamborghini say that thing about um, you know Lamborghini, they say. Uh, a person asked them in an interview. They say, "Why, why don't you guy, um, why, why don't you guy uh, have TV commercial?" And Lamborghini say, "Our target audience is not sitting around watching TV." <sighs> that is, that is, I love it. That is so cocky. I love it. That was Lamborghini say. So from then on, we're like, "Oh, we don't want to be." <laughs> Like what they say. <laughs> no, we still watching TV now and then. I love watching TV. Just a little orange, just to make it a little bright. Okay. Yes, it's eighteen hundred. Oh, Apple product is like that. Apple are crazy, and I know, I know, Samsung is better. I know, I know. I'm not in denial. I know Samsung is better. I just like apples. Because it's pretty, okay? I'm an iPhone person. I'm an Apple person. I don't care how good Samsung is or Android or whatever it is. Whatever one, one of the robotic machines is. Like the transformer iPhone. It's so ugly. Gosh. I love iPhone. Forever. Pink. And pay attention around the edge. Make sure that it's hot. the edge is really what we're shooting for. Okay. Now, right here, I will be very careful in the metals. In fact, um, if you want, you can put yellow. Yellow will tie everything together. Or uh, you can just leave it like this. That'd be fun, too. Um, but if you, if you leave it like this, you will want it to be uh, kind of even, you know, not not too messy. See that? All nice and airy. Then you can leave it like this. If not, you take a little yellow. Because yellow mixed with green, yellow also mixed with pink. This is how you tied it together by putting a little yellow in there in the middle. See that? And just blend it up like that. Tie everything together if you want. Okay. So now I am going to mat this. Now I mat it just for you. But my next step is stained glass gels. So if you're confident about not messing up, then you don't have to put mat on. Okay. But if you're afraid you're gonna mess up. Then go ahead and put on a layer mat. Then with my pigment for now. So I'm putting it back. Now I'm taking mat. Let me see the mat right here. So I'm taking mat. Good morning, Gibbs, Lewis. You love this already, honey? Honey, Nels, love this already. It look bright. Okay. Some matte on this. Look how nice and smooth. When it's like this one is perfect and even people usually don't want to draw anything on it. They they like, mm, I'm afraid I'm gonna mess it up. So we're about to uh, mess it up. We're about to put blue on it. Okay. This is the blue that we're going to use. So stained glass gels. This is number seven. Stained glass gels. What is going on? Better not go crazy on me. I didn't talk to you. You didn't understand me, remember? Thank you, 
unicorn. Nicole says she loves my pink things. Nice, smooth, and bright. Okay. Now, now I already secured this. So, the first thing I'm going to do, um, I am going to go ahead and draw like a frame for it. Okay. With this, this is stamp glass. Um, I will also use a layer of indigo later. Okay. So I'm going to take blue stained glass and apply it right here. You, you want it to be all over. My um, I'm still new. I'm embarrassed to say this, but there's so much product that exists. I'm falling in love with this. Oh, thank you, Cassie. Oh, I love it. Okay. Now this step is fairly easy because you just focus in the middle and then you just slowly uh, pay attention to the edge. I'm using a 10 millimeter brush. Okay, just pay attention to the edge and leave a little bit of color out. Okay, you see the transition? See it? Okay, so, and this, there's a little a pink right here. I might add it in, I might not. They just try to show up with a computer software program, but whatever. That pink is easy. Put a little pink fairy gel on there, easy to blend out. Okay, now I'm gonna take this and I am going to cure this for 60 seconds. Apply, oh wait, apply matted. Oh, all over the nails and cure for 60 seconds. Cure for 60 seconds. Cure. Okay, apply. Stained glass gel. Gel. Number seven. Leave the edge out. Mm. Use stained glass gel. 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 Number. Eight, comma, focus on the edge. Okay, so now, now we're going to use a darker blue, okay? So this is number eight. Going to use that, number eight. So still same brush. Is this glowing? You gotta look at this. It's glowing. It's moving. What is going on here? See that? It's moving. Oh, I post um, I post a butterfly YouTube uh, on YouTube yesterday. I, I post uh, today. I post the one I do yesterday and the one I do today. Sorry, guys. I'm trying. I'm trying to remember. It's so easy to forget. When something that I do every day, I remember very easy. But like Instagram, I, I never forget Instagram because I do it every day. 
but YouTube is new for me, so sometimes I just forget. At some point, I will try to make it like a daily routine, so I don't forget. See that? You don't even have to blend it. You can just leave it like this. Here this. Now I'm gonna draw the eye. So I'm gonna draw the eye for the alien. What do you need? I need a piece of papers. Okay. I will learn how to draw an iPad, but I don't know how to draw an iPad. And uh, I'm going to use a marker. Okay. So, the eyes is a leaf shape, right? So, a leaf shape should be easy to draw, but we're not learning how to draw a leaf shape. We're learning the proportion of the alien. Mm -hmm. The eye with the face. Okay, so you can tell that these three part. One, two, three. Okay, you can tell. So, this is going to be the face. And then, so the eye is one third, okay, of the, of the face. So, if I go across like this, and I go across like this, okay, and go straight down, this whole thing is taken by the eye. So this is a square, right? Okay. So what I want you to do, because imagine this is a square, okay, with a corner right here. So you go up a little bit, and then you start to curve immediately until here, and then you go across. Same here. Go down a little bit, curve here, and then go across. That is the proportion of the eyes. Like this. Go here, and then you start to curve to here, and then you go down, okay? Across, you start to curve to here, and then you go up, okay? There are only one position. There's, everybody can draw a leaf shape, but where would you draw that leaf shape is a question. That's why we learn this. We not learn how to draw a leaf shape. We learn how to draw the leaf shape that fit the face. So, straight, curve, straight. Okay, remember, don't curve too much. Don't be like from here and start curve immediately. That would be a skinny leaf shape. You don't want a skinny leaf shape. You want to go a little bit to here. And then you start curve, curve to here. See, it's not to a, to a point yet. Curve right here, and then you go up. See that? Okay, remember that. Let's do it. And the reason why I doing the eye right now because the blue is also going around the eye. So that's why. That's why I have to put in the eye right now. Okay, so for that, I'm using art gels because I want the eye to be sharp and crisp. So I'm using this black art gel right here. Hi, hi, hi Cobra Babies. Hello. Tino, I have a serious question. So I hope Dustin would read it out loud. Dustin, not here yet. Um, I, I saw a new product and I love it. It's a brush on chrome liquid. Will you ever add it to your inventory? Yes, I'm adding it into my inventory right now. Um, I don't have it much because it's just the same as the other chrome except for it apply on differently. I have been like a 500 uh, bottle per colors. Uh, so I'm having it. I'm not too much in a hurry to it because it's just nice to have because everybody already have it, so I want to have it too. Okay. So I am going to imagine, I'm not going to draw it out. I'm going to imagine that a square going to be right here. Square, okay. I'm imagining it. So I run across a little bit. And then I start curving right now. I curve into here. And then I run down. Okay. 
same thing right here i'm doing this right now so i can match i can match um both line going up going up start curve now and then going across okay again going down it's going across oh let's go too much down okay now start to curve Again, across, curve, and then go up. Okay. But without this proportion, if you draw alien before, you might bump into problem with the eyes, which I don't know how, but that is at this, you know. So that's people that also will have problem with the eye because the lip shape that might point be like too skinny too narrow or too big or they might be like pointing too much up or too much flat you know just whatever problem it is now it's solved get this let me read all the question Queen of Claw, <laughs> I love you. This is so like knowledgeable. Um, so Nora, we're talking about the liquid chrome and Queen of Claw say, do you know all you have to do is make a chrome with a dehydrator like IB dehydrator or any other brand mixing. So it's evaporate. That makes sense. So the chrome is left and you can apply, apply and rub it in. That's that's very knowledgeable, Queen uh, of Claw. Ooh, I'm blushing a little bit, but you cannot tell because you know I have Asian skin, so you cannot tell. But I'm blushing like a tomato inside. Okay, now I'm using dark blue and draw on these darkest blue. Dark blue here too around the eyes. Okay. Yes, Nora. That's that's it. Like the mo moment she said it, it's make all the sense in the world. <laughs> Before I thought that you alcohol. I mean, I might do the same thing. I don't know. All I know is that it's different. But when the moment I try it, I'm not too much in a hurry with it because it doesn't really do anything unique that are different than the normal chrome. It's just, it's just fun. It's just fun. So I like it. I'm going to have a little bit too. Just, you know, get in the groove with, like everybody else. They have liquid chrome. I want to have liquid chrome too, but not a lot. Just, just a, a number of it. Just for whoever bump into it and want to buy it. But I guess it's, but I don't know that I'm gonna even promote it unless I find something special about it. So I'm just gonna have it and just put it on the website just because, just so um, give people options to buy. I wish I wasn't working so I could do with you all my shit. But this, this is this is a uh, this is a pattern. This is concept from uh, different pattern like different layers. So maybe it's the best if you watch only. So you can understand the process. Blood, see, technique is not just for the alien, Michelle. Uh, alien pattern is just a little extra. This technique is, I'm going to use the same with the eyes. 
so you can notice the pattern right here is this little trick that I put pigment on and then I put stained glass on. No, light up blue. Just all around the blue frame. Just another blue, but just lighter. Just so it's, it's nicely faded out for me. I'm going to leave this part alone. Okay, here. Now, the last step is see indigo blue because it's dark, it's sharp. We're gonna uh, go around the edges. You don't have to if you don't want to, but you should because it's prettiest. If you want, you can uh, matte it again and then uh, use uh, the art gel so it can be easier on you. I'm just gonna do it right now just to save myself uh, one layer of matte. This is indigo blue. Okay, just all around the blue edge. Just one more time, just to emphasize that um, that that, that gradient, you know, make it more powerful, the colors. Just around the face. Okay. Okay, now, what I'm going to do next? Ooh, I'm going to paint this pink drip. I'm going to paint over with blue, and you must think I was crazy. Maybe like this move is absolutely crazy. Why? So I'm gonna paint it all over. Blue. Okay. Get this. Uh huh. Sis. Sis, this is what we're doing. But we're gonna dress it up just a little bit. We inspire up this. Because I look at this and like. That's not pigment. Whatever that is, pigment couldn't do this. Pigment can blend everything evenly, but this is, this is gel. This is different layer of gel for it to have this shape right here. Pigment is very difficult for pigment to do this shape because look at the blue. The dark blue is very thin. See that? And the very thin pink line. So with that, I'm inspired of this. I'm going to make this strip down here like that. Uh, the blue, the blue is art gel indigo. Indigo is a dark, like rich blue. Um, this picture, somebody sent it to me. Somebody sent it to me uh, yesterday. Um, I, I love it when I see it. I like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm gonna do it tomorrow, so I do it today. Okay, so now I'm gonna use blue art gel. I better put my phone flat. I don't even know how to use my iPad. Okay, so look at that like little baby. So now um, I'm gonna use this blue right here. Where is it? Oh, this blue. Okay, this is blue. It's not indigo. It's bright blue. Thank you, Corazon. Corazon, say I'm artistic as fuck. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Okay, so I'm getting blue out. Okay, zoom in. Remember, I'm using lighter blue. This art gel actually called blue. Okay, so sorry. I want you to stay really, really close because it's kind of important. But first, you need to take the tip and touch it lightly. So it's thin, and then you start to press and go down like this. Okay, I'm 
want you to see that. It's a baroque pattern, but very tiny baroque pattern. You have to start with just a tip. Okay, lightly go down. Now you can press. See that? Now you can start pressing when you go all the way down to the bottom. Okay. Do it again. Okay. Here it is. I'm going to do one more time with green. Okay, I'm gonna do one more time with green. Oh, thank you, uh, from France, Kathy. Thank you. Um, my son wouldn't care. He always told me I look beautiful no matter what. Oh, oh Karen, it's from Karen. You are fantastic. Thank you, thank you, Ty. Uh, can someone tell me how to do the chrome thingy? I don't look too late to see the comment. Oh, we were talking about the liquid chrome. You know the liquid chrome that uh, we have. I have like a sample. Like this liquid chrome. This is just a sample. She even put the name Tino on it. But this is just a sample. So basically before chrome, you have to take a shot of later, you, you touch it, and then you put it on your nail. Now instead of that, it's in the liquid bottle where you brush it on the nail and what happened is the um the base agent it will just evaporate so it's some kind of solvent and basically when it's all evaporate all it's left is a chrome dust so it's just a like a different way to apply chrome i haven't really like see the point yet um but it's interesting and it's new and everyone have it uh i heard about it a month ago i was like, mm, I didn't really jump on it right away. I just started putting my order. So it's coming in one. But I don't really order a lot. I don't, I don't know if I would like, like promote it, like demonstrate it, you know. It's probably just one of the things I have on my website. Well, I don't even remember I have. Okay. Now. Green art chair. I'm going to use this. Okay, now you're gonna see what I'm talking about. Okay, so my brush right here, see my brush right here, make sure that I I load it in. Okay, so make sure it's full of pen and then drag it out. So the drag out the head. So you load it the whole thing in. And the head, you drag it out so it's skinnier. Now what you're gonna do is really close. You going to touch it a little bit with the head. Tell what I'm talking about. As I go down, I press. Okay. But usually people start thick and they pull out thin. It's easy. So this is like a reverse. Okay. You start out thin and you pull out thick like this. Okay. And when you pan, this is what your eyes see. Okay, this is what your eyes see. All right? So, uh, why not take yellow and add to the other two? This last Last week, nails have been my favorite. I think, really, really. Um, you, are you talking about last week when we messed with textures? Or are you talking about this week when we messed with uh, vibrant and colors? Because it's our third time this week. Last week, we messed with textures. I like, I like texture, but I think, I think it's of so four things. I think it's a four color things. Okay. 
I think it's a little too serious for spring. Okay, you can do that too. Vibrant, yes, vibrant. Mm -hmm. I like this week too. I want to be brighter though, so I'm gonna find a way. The road is, is very bright, uh, still a little too serious for me. Uh, yesterday, I love it better, but still, I need to see it with crystal to fall in love with it. But uh, so today, I'm trying to be brighter than yesterday. And by the end of this week, I hope that it's so bright, it's like blind you. That's what I want. Hear this. Mm -hmm. You send glass jar number A, focus on the edge. Use, use black art gel. Art. Art. Two, pen the eye. Paint the eyes. Eyes. Okay. Here for sixty seconds. Damn it. Here for sixty seconds. And black art gel and then um yields. Yields. Okay, use blue. Oh, wait. Yeah, blue stained glass. Gel to outline the eyes around the eyes. And then, um, and then you go ahead and, uh, Use art gel in Digo to do final outline and drips and hand strip. And hand the trip and apply mat and cure I'm faster than Siri cure for 60 seconds done all right so this right here I am gonna put mat on this so I used matted to put on this. Hi, Judy. Hello. Hi, Kikaro. Hear this. Okay, now, before we do the ring finger, let's do the index finger because uh, uh, step steps now have um, this problem with the shanded uh, for blooming. So we're going to take a new bottle so we can see what the problem is. Actually, we're going to use this. We're going to use shadows. Okay. 
we're gonna make like the tips So I think about half and half. Mm, a deep. Uh, I'm thinking about a deep, deep over tip. Maybe a little bit up. Yeah, maybe like about right here. Okay, I'm pinning down the side. Okay, good. Now I'll take my shadow and take back some of the gels. Then check again and clear. Hi, Angelic Vampire. Hello. Let's see. But I just did one hand since my copper tunnel been acting up on oh, your nails, Ivy. I uh, have to rest hand for a week and I have a concert this Friday on oh, you have to stretch often you have to stretch your hand like this it'll help your copper to know see how far I can stretch my my hand see see my hand right here so you have to bend it over like this see that every single day taking your hand and you bend it over and you want to feel it right here the one you want to feel that's a good pain it's not a bad pain Oh, there's the other nails. Pick up some gels and another one over here. <laughs> you are welcome, Ivy. I really wish uh, that you will remember to stress like that every day. That's the hard part. It's not the stressing. It's to remember how to do it. Um, I'm, I'm bad at it, too. I, I don't remember how to do it every day. But when I have a chance or free time or whatever, which is very few and far in between, um, I say time to stretch because I don't want surgery. They just mess you up. You're not the same. Forgot which finger is smaller. Nine, six. Is it the sun? No. Kill this. No. Can't have the sun now.
Let me see. Nine. Nine. Okay. I need a. I need a new one. This is six. Bass. I want it to fit my hand. I don't want it to not fit my hand. School is kind of old fashioned. It's a set of rule where they made it up like since like the fifties and the keep nineteen seventy five actually. Um but uh they keep rely on that rules, but that's old school. But that is a foundation that you learn and then nowadays there are kind of new technique and uh, art oriented school. I don't think they art oriented, they just try to uh teach you so you can so you will not get in trouble. That's what they try to do. So you could not get sued and all that, all that, all the steps to be proper. But they don't teach you how to really make money. Okay, now, let's see this one. I'm gonna clear this one more time. This one, I'm using Cream Nude. Yeah, even the test, all the theory, oh my God. But, but unfortunately, it is a money system and you have to pass it. You have to pay your due, pass it, get license, renew your license every year. That just, you have to play the game. You just have to be part of it. You have to pass through the metal man. Like taxes, basically. You have to play the game. Play their games. Ah, oh, finally. I was like, this looks a little bit the same. See, I just established how far I won. I don't even have to do the side yet. Let's just skip the side so it doesn't drip. You know what I mean? Sometimes, uh, I don't know how deep your C curve is, but you know, if it's too curved, then it might drip, so don't put it on the side yet. Slap one in the middles, and then adjusting your fringe. You know, go down first if you want, and then slowly curve your line here. See how I slowly curve it? See that? And, and see that? And then here. I take a line of brush and I go straight because that's where your client sidewall is. You don't want to touch the skin because then you have to cleanse it. The sidewall is annoying when there's gel in there because it's hard to, to, to really dig deep and clean, especially when you have a gel that's tiny. Oh, it wouldn't come out, especially if you have like red gel. Oh my God, if it's stuck on your client um, sidewall, it's horrible. So make sure you use proper brush so you can just save yourself. Let's go. Here. Class, you say I can't afford the schooling bad enough. My son can his cap after our accident. I have no financial help to what disability. We are still asking him to you later. You know what, Kathy? You don't need schooling. You don't need schooling. Be a press on artist. You start it out. You start. You can start like tomorrow. Be a press on artist because all you need, all you need is tip. No tip because you're not touching people's hand, right? So you can skip all that middleman bullshit. You can skip that. You can just be a press on artist tomorrow. You need tips. You need some glue kit or little orange wood stick and, and some uh, adhesive tab. You know, cheap. It's on Amazon. You just go find it and put together a little cute a little package. And then you do press on. You do press on. You can start doing it right now. You don't have to wait for school. And 
press on is the right hand chain right now. You can choose that uh, that route. Okay, now um, let's take a new, new bottle of shampoo. Okay. So before I use it, I'm not gonna shake or anything, and let's see if because I do want to encounter that problem. That step step we're talking about. I hope that I I hope that the gel is not um that's not uh bloom so because one thing about fixing the problem is i need to encounter that first okay so i am gonna take sand it and apply on here and i'm gonna use pigment days Okay. It doesn't seem to want to blend. Good, good, good. So that is a problem, right? See here, it doesn't want to blend. So we got to fix this. Okay, it's supposed to blend right away, right away. So let me zoom in. It doesn't want to blend. Good. So that's a problem. Sean, it doesn't blend. Look, it doesn't blend. We're going to leave it here for a while. Okay, we're not going to mess with it. You're going to leave it here. I'm going to add a few more to it too. Pigment base, pigment base here. Doesn't blend, doesn't blend. Okay, so that's a problem we encountered the other day. So let's fix this. Milk, you say, do I ever wear the same outfits? Yeah, I do. I do wear the same outfit. I do. I just have to go through the whole thing first. Okay, now I'm going to close my shine it. So now I'm going to fix it. Okay, so let's try it again. Oh, drip a little bit. Okay, so that's what I do last time, and it's worked immediately. So let's see if it works still. Okay, this still doesn't blend at all. This one I want to blend a little bit slowly though. Really, it's bland, but it doesn't move fast. Wonder is I'm not shaking it well enough. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it right here. This one doesn't move really fast. They don't change the formula on me because I love the formulas. This bottle right here worked. It's the same back though. This one kind of blend a little bit, just a little. Okay, I'm shaking. I'm just shaking it up again. So let's try it on these fingers. We're gonna get to the bottom of this.
fast I want it though. This plan, but let me try the old bottle. Cause the old bottle is planned very well. Let me try this one. See if I'm not crazy. See the old bottle plan. These people better not mess with my formulas. See, it's supposed to plan immediately. Mm -mm, we have to plan like that my old bottle because if not, it's crazy. Let's see. Turn it upside down and I'm going to roll it. See this? This plan like crazy now. Well, this start to plan too now. I start to see it's moving now. So, oh, oh, so I just need to shake it. That's all I need. I need to shake more though. It's plan now, but not as crazy fast as this. I just have to. It's so frustrating. Sorry, guys. I just really just want to um, get to the bottom of this. A new bottle is the one that won't work. <laughs> That's just shaking the hell out of it. I have to make this bottle work, you guys, because I have to get to the bottom of this. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. Thank you, thank you. They say take your time. But this is very important because that what makes shine it's unique is its ability to bloom. Not as fast. I understand. Let me get a different bottles. Maybe just that bottles? It makes sense. This new one. Not fast meters.
Oh, but this one started to blend. What's happening? Maybe I apply too thick. Maybe I need to be thinner because this one start blending already. I, I'm going to apply it a little thinner to see. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm not in the zone. I'm just really... Uh, because if I find uh, what's wrong with it and I can fix it, that's another do and done that I will get from this. like change the formula on me. Damn it, why would she do that? This is totally different formulas because this old bottle of Shanded. Look at that, it's done immediately. These freaking peoples. So frustrating. Okay, anyway, so I guess you have to use the blooming gel for now until I find out what's wrong with this. Um, I'm just going to leave this old bottle rest. And then maybe I leave it rest for a little bit. Maybe it starts to blend again, I guess. Because that's what happened the other day. It doesn't blend. And then I shake it up and it's, it starts blending. I'm going to give it a rest just to see. It's supposed to be like this right away. Will you ever show uh, to boot on the nail with gel and shape them? I don't know. I don't know about that. Cause it's not, not art. Doesn't mean that I would never do it. It just, um, it doesn't thrill me. Should I have to plan for it? Because none of this I plan for. I don't really plan for this. I just jump into it because I love art. But for, for gel, like an application of gel that just worked for me. I had to plan for it. But a lot of my friends are teaching foundation. Like now that now that he teach foundation all day long. He teach gel, put on gel and then I mean they do charge for it, it's not free but but he teach it. Um, okay. So let's start with the galaxy with a blooming gel. And hopefully by the end of this, it just magically work. Um, my last solution is to let it sit. So I'm allowing it to sit. Let me see. In that ridiculous i show i show up late so um we doing alien space out team today this alien that we drawn right now we drawn space we drawn galaxy just on the tip right now but i swear that old bottle is it's not that old it's it's from the this is from the uh the new batch too. That gotta be something that we're not catching. This old bottle is from the same batch. 
and it didn't work uh, yesterday. Maybe I should let it sit for a while and it will work. So now I'm taking pigment base and I just make little cyclone like this, like a little oval, like a rose, but in like a direction of the, um, the cyclone, the Milky Way. Okay. And then I'm going to get a stone and a brush. This is an oval brush I'm going to use. So an oval brush or a 3D brush, whichever, actually oval. And don't get too much a stone. Just kind of clean it on the edge like this. Okay, going in, and I will actually distort this a little bit with Aston. So it looks like gas cloud. Okay, just like this. So I just really use a stone to smudge out the the edge, but I'm not taking it away neither. I just smudge it out. I leave some gel right here so it look it look kind of foggy. It look uh, smoky, like a Milky Way. Okay. And more than welcome to add some more white in this. Just here and there. See what I mean? Just add some white in this. Okay. Hear this. Do you like it? You like it? You like it already? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay let's try this again. Please, Lord, let it work, please. Because if anything, Jen, or if. Uh, there's no reason for the change the formula. There may be something wrong. I would hate to make a blooming gel because that's just. It would be nice to have a top coat that all like blooming gel. So you don't have to. Have two. You can just have one. Still doesn't work. So no, for now, if um, your shine it doesn't work, you should have to get a blooming gel, or maybe you should doesn't need blooming gel at all. Maybe you can just do like this and do a stone on it. Let me see. For sure, it doesn't work now.
Yeah. Yeah, you still can, you still can do it without blooming gel. It just. Be nicer with blooming gels. If you have three D jelly, use that. Three D jelly is the same family with sunshine. That it's bloom too. Buona dia, Cynthia. I have to, I have a warmer and I use with a little water. It's work great for thick gel. So I try that warmer. Maybe I, if I want it a little bit. Oh, thank you. The not the not says love you. Oh. Okay. Just smudge it around like this. See how it looks cool like a galaxy already. The other one is cat eye that I caught the other day. So cool. With a cat eye that is moved too. But on camera, I say this is most attractive because it's bright. However, if you do this, you couldn't do cat eye because all that white, it will take away from the cat eye background behind. So whichever you prefer to do your galaxy in. Okay, hear that. Now you should put stained glass on. Oh, wait. I thought that this is bloomed by itself. Oh, we're almost happy. No, no, I was drawing galaxy. It looked like row. It's the same pattern as row. It's just different shape. It's not in the circle. So you are right. It is a rose pattern. It's just not a rose. It's a galaxy. See how cool it is? I just smudge it up with Aston. I use a blooming gel, and then I smudge it up with Aston, and it become like that. Um, I'll try to find blue. I'm going to have blue, green, and yellow. So this is blue, number seven. Actually, I'm going to choose this. This is number eight. I'm going to choose blue number eight and seven. And then purple number 13. So just all kind of blue and all kind of green. Number two. And then number one is bright yellow. So one, two, seven, eight, and 13. So I am going to go ahead and do some blue first. See, that's some blue. Just a thin layer of stained glass gel, nothing much. 
you don't have to kill yet. You can add green right in. As long as you don't do too much polish. Yeah, yeah, yeah but um, it's not really a problem not to have blooming gel. It just, it just that something wrong with my shine that it can bloom. That's why I, I keep trying on it. Not because of this design, just because what the hell's wrong with my shine that? Somebody change something. Okay, now I'm gonna use bright yellow. And then a little deep blue. Just a little bit, not much. See, because it's smoky already, so you don't need perfection. That's why you don't need to cure it. You can just add it in like this, as long as you're gentle and you uh, you um not too generous with your gel, not too much with the amount of gel on. And cure this too. Yes, I'm gonna use purple and pink next. So next, I'm gonna use some purple and then the pink. I'm choosing number four. That's hot pink. I'm killing it for 60 to it. Just brush it in. Just a little bit at a time. Okay. Don't go crazy with the colors. right here. And then some purples. This is number 13. And the awesome. And some purple right here too. Hear this. On the outside because it's a dark colors. Okay, now this I'm gonna do a little uh, spaceship. Little spaceship and little eyes. So um, I am going to clean this because I have all kind of gel on this. Test out these colors. I have to clean this because it's no white. So it's uh, pigment free. It's black pigment. So I'm going to clean this coat right here. 
actually have gel on it. I might as well just put some shine it on right now. That's uh, it's black pigment too. Let's use the new shine just in case it's not blocking pigment. Also, let's see, I use a new shine it now. But you also know that shine it block pigment. I fell over a pigment stick on it. It'd be an entirely new product. Hear this. <laughs> How you make friends with polish without it looking so thick and seamless? Um, well, I, I just demonstrated. So basically, uh, what I do is I just take shadow and I paint it the whole tip first. Okay, I don't paint on the side. I just paint like about right here. So I have gel on the nail like a palette. And then I just use a liner brush and I just draw out my line. I do it slowly. I do it in a slow increment. Like I will do it right in this angle. And then I will kind of steep it down a little bit just to exaggerate it. Here, see, so yeah, I pull it down. And then from here, I pull out and then I pull out. Just, you know, um, just do it slowly. That's what I do. Yes, our chair will be less runny. Okay, now let's see. Okay, good. It's still pigment block. There's some scratch it right here, but still pigment block. Good, good, good. So it's not a new product. <laughs> Crazy. Put it right here. Okay, so I'm putting some pigment pay out. I am going to draw the eye first. And then plan it around it. So I'm gonna draw the eyes now. Well, this blue now is low. <laughs> we are best friend in my head. <laughs> okay, another eyes. So it's like a leap shape. So are these going to be pigments later? See so this eyes right here and then uh, some drip for the eyes too. A little drip down. One, two, three, four. And then turn your brush over. One drop. Two drop, three drop, four drop, five drops. Okay, and then make sure your brush is nine and ten. Don't look at the white, look at the black. Make sure that all, all the angle go away. Everything is nice and smooth. Don't look at the white, look at the black. Don't be distracted by the white line. Look at the negative space in the back. See that? See the black? I'm just making everything brown, nice and smooth. See, that is one of the people's mistake is at this point, they, they don't look at the black, they look at the white. So they line usually have problematic, it wouldn't look right no matter what. So at this point, the important thing is you look at the black line on the back and make sure that it's all nice and round. That's that's it. That will uh, fix your problems. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to have a circle right here because it's going to be a planet.
างแขนเอสซีด้วยนิดอันนี้คลาวน่าอัมจะการลีฟทิสไลทิสน่าไม่เป็นนักแพลนเนี่ยไรฮะโซจิเจลในเมดัลส์และนั้นถ้าอยู่นอกไม่เป็นเพียงพอแล้วคุณใช้ทำงานอย่างเร็วให้คุณต้องไม่เร็วโอเคแล้วคุณก็ไปตัดนี้ให้ได้ไหมครับตัดนี้ The last and found now. Um, we tried the old bardo; it worked flawlessly. But the new bardo, it works so slow. I think they changed the formula to it. That's what we found out. Look at the old bardos. So I'm using my old bardo now. But it come from the new. Uh, it come from the new shipment too. It come from the same shipment. So I'm. I'm still trying to find out. This is the old one. Okay, look how it's blend. Okay, so that is the old one. Okay, it's blend really fast. I mean, that's the one I used yesterday that I encountered that problem and I shake it up a little bit and it's work. But let me show you the new one. So this is the old one, and then I just. Up a new bottle this time too. It doesn't work too, and I shake it up. I shake it up really uh, good, but let me try. Let me try to shake it up again. Okay, so I'm gonna try the new one now. This is very slow. It doesn't move like this one. I think they changed the formula to it. I should have to ask them to find out what's going on. But I will get to the bottom of this after live because I spent too much time messing with this already. See, it doesn't bloom like this one. See, it doesn't bloom like that. So we're just gonna leave it rest for a little bit more. Yeah, but it's a little frustrating because now Shandy is just a non-scrap top coat and a pigment block. It's a lot. It's ability to bloom, which sucks because I, I would hate to make a blooming gel just for blooming gel. Because sorry, I think blooming gel is kind of boring just by itself. That's why I wish um, that my top coat is a blooming gel, but something, something is not add up here because. See two act differently. I will find out. I will find out. I will. I will get to the bottom of this. Maybe I leave it to tomorrow and it's just, just work like these bottles. I don't know. I find out. I find out and then I keep updating to you to let you know. Doesn't move yet. So annoying. Okay. So now I am gonna make a planet, and the planet I am gonna keep the green colors and the blue, but I also will add in purples too. So the planet be quite colorful, five different colors. Okay. So 
we take out the orange and add in yellow. So purple, blue, green, yellow, pink. Okay, five colors. Thank you, thank you. I love you, you're real with your product. <laughs> it become the creator. Our creator is real with the product. It's just you not likely will find a creator that will speak to you about the product. Usually they have little minions that speak to you. You know, little minions that have little script that, you know, sound very professional, but they're really speaking about nothing. And they will just speak to you about product like a robot. That that what you encounter. No, every every creator is real with the product. They're just too busy. <laughs> They're too busy to talk to you. <laughs> Not likely that a creator will stand out and speak. They usually somewhere and join the vacation. What am I doing here? Why am I doing live? <laughs> okay, I have some purples. So be careful, these five colors. So I'm gonna do the planet first because I want the five color to be in the planet. The eye, I don't really care. It can be three color, I don't mind. But purple on the outside, uh, gotta tap the dust out so it's not too dusty. Okay, that's it, that's it. Done with purple. That's five, that four more colors. So I'm just gonna go around like this, okay, okay. Yeah, little minion. <laughs> they have minion. <laughs> uh, okay. So now wipe it up. Time for blue. In that awesome cat claw. Hi, cat claw. I wonder why you're late. I would be so busy. <laughs> we can love her. Okay, tap it out. See this? This is what we do so far. This is very colorful. Uh, I'm having um, another color blue here. We're having a little bit um conflict with the shine. That's why I'm a little off because in my head, I'm still thinking about shine right now. So sorry if I'm a little off. See? Remember, be careful. Don't go too much. This one is a little overdue. See, because you want, looking at the white, you want a little white round like that. That's why I go around, because I want this white to be around with it. This, I go, I go a little crazy. But that's fine, this one. It's a small planet. People are only looking at the big planet. Okay, now, green. Can you see the transformation? Oh, maybe I'm not good in pink after all. It's beautiful just like this. Pink is a little darker than yellow, so it will lose this little, like, look how bright this is. It is very bright. Yellow. Maybe I do need pink after all. Let's try it. Let's sacrifice the small one first. Okay, okay. Sure, a little pink in there. Okay, oh. It looks like a unicorn planet. Ooh, okay, okay, I see. I'm glad I tried. I was afraid to try. I like it. Green on the eyes. Look glowy, isn't it? Tap it out. Apply it on. These are the eyes. Okay.
and down here I want to mix a little blue with a little green to make like a teal. And I do want to add a little white because I don't want it to be too dark. Can be very similar. Anyone heard of all these UFO of USA re uh, government been reported about us lately? Yeah, I heard. I heard. Um, we have been seeing inciting since forever on UFO, right? For year, for year, the government didn't really say anything. No, I, I think they, they they don't really um, reveal anything because I bet they they are. Uh, they they don't want to share all the res, uh, resource with us, you know. Whatever they plan is, they they don't want to share it with us. But um, now suddenly, um, we know that at some point, you at some point there'll be an alien invasion, and by alien invasion, I mean U.S. military. You know, they they can stage an alien in, invasion to take away our privacy once once again. You know, so if there is an alien invasion right now, I don't believe that it's an alien invasion. I think uh, United States government are going to set it up. So now it's hard to be like, oh, it's alien, it's alien everywhere on the media. I think they are, something about to go down. Something about to go down big time. Just like at big at 9-11, no doubt. Shined it, apply all over. Yes. Yeah, so Something about go down big time. Just, it's not, and it's not the alien. Our government just try to uh, try to find an excuse to develop another law, another rules against our privacy. Just like after nine eleven, we have lost our privacy forever. This is the day we lost, truly lost our freedom. I bet uh, they they're gonna about to do so. Oh. They're gonna be an alien invasion, and then our government come in and save the day. They're gonna save us. They're gonna save us, but because because it's an alien invasion, they have to put camera in our house to ensure our protection. You know, ensure that we safe from the alien. They have to lay out taxes for some reason because they need new weapon for the to fight against the. The uh, the alien forces, you know, might be some something will go down, something, will, or there will be a food shortage because there's an alien invasion. Trust me, our government gonna be a hero by the end of this. Catch this. Yeah, alien not here to harm us. When you're an intelligent being, there's no need for you to hurt. There is no need for hurt and no need for war. It's us. It's us on this earth that has an issue, not the alien. I think they're just curious with us, but I don't really think they're here to hurt us at, at all. Okay, now. I am going to take white pigment base. And I'm, I am going to draw an eye right in the middle of this. I'm going to draw an Okay. Cure this. Right, right. You're so right, Queen of Law. It's a government and the people. I think, have you ever watched Moonfall? Because if you have never watched Moonfall, you should watch it. I love it. Um, the conspiracy is uh, when a uh, civilization started to be too advanced, they have uh, what they call a moon. It's like a big giant um, uh, ecosystem that they live in it. 
and they scatter out into space because their home planet have been so and so whatever and on the ship on the moon ship right here they carry our dna so they can scatter out to uh inhabitable planet so us what one of them and the moon have been watching us for a very long time it actually makes sense because the moon never changed the angles the moon always has the, have the same face we never see the black side of the moon ever um i am gonna go ahead and you fairy gel you add some glue in the middle of the eyes oh actually some pink some pink for the eye pink eye Actually, yellow, yellow eyes. But um, to think about it, we are the alien of this planet. We're different than all other animal and species in this planet. We have a very big cerebral cortex on our head that we can um, memorize and we can learn. We can plan and we can think. And we can dry knowledge down and pass through generation to generation. We multiply like a virus. I think that we are the alien of this planet. And I don't think the alien is different than us. I think we, um, they are, we are, uh, they see it. And they've just been watching us try to wait until we learn some things. But apparently not since the Egyptian day. Until now, it's still the same thing. It's just more quieter than in the old day. Okay, now cure this. And after I cure it, I'm going to put on a coat of matted. Actually, before I put on matted, I'm going to go ahead and shape his eye with some uh, pink stained glass gel number six. That's a fuchsia. I'm going to take it out. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, she said she loved my hair today. My best friend is a hairdresser. We are planning. To I used to want to be a hairdresser too, but I didn't follow up with a plan. But we used to plan to have a, our own salon, and we three working together. Hear this. <laughs> Most animal don't walk on two feet, so we do. Yeah, isn't it strange? When you think about it, we are so different than everything else in this planet. Way more intelligent. Well, so we think. But, um, yeah, we're just so different. I think someone dropped us here a thousand years ago. Plus, I mean, the Earth is a few billion years old. And we are, I mean, as far back as I, I, um... I read is 2,000 years for, from Jesus' day. And then there's about 5,000 years before that. But I'm not reading anything too far. But let's just say our whole civilization is 20,000 years, which is a lot. But it's way longer before Jesus was born. So 20,000 years, that's nothing compared to a few billion years. So it's just on the surface. So who knows how many civilizations that we had before, before us, you know? Before us, that might be a few hundred thousand years of civilization, Atlantis, with all the uh, technology, and then they just all wipe out, just like we're about to, you know. And there'll be no trace left, and then the Earth will spend a few million years on just cleaning out everything, all the concrete, all the tour, everything gone away, and then the whole thing start over again. We just never know. All right, so now... We have this. Uh, I'm gonna take some pink fairy gel because this pink sand glass gel is kind of sheer, so it's mixed with a yellow and it has like an orange tone. I want like a pink, pink, yeah, like this fairy gel is not sheer, so it will show up. It's pink right here for me. Mm. 
Mm. Here. That looks trippy. Well, that's why we're here together because we think the same way. Okay, now this I already have shined it on, so I am gonna use ink to further enhance it. Ink move very easy on top of shined it. You don't have to enhance it if you don't want to. I just want some white in there. I haven't watched the show a hundred yet, Way Hollywood. I haven't watched yet, but I want to. I want to. I'm just, I have so much on my list. Go ahead and uh, boot mat it on this to secure, because until now, the pigments still haven't been secured yet. So I'm going to boot mat it on. Here. Clean my mat it before I put in the bottles. Okay, now I'm gonna take an uh, oval brush. Some Aston and I am gonna follow the, the pattern of the cyclone. Make sure you don't have too much Aston. That you don't want everything to be going away. a bit of this see that huge difference isn't it mm, you thought I'm gonna leave it like that aren't you okay now you know hopefully by watching me for a while you probably will soon know what I'm about to do isn't it for a while someday you would just like be you know about to do this Cosmo, the Cosmo always intrigues me. Have you ever read the the Cosmo? Uh, Cosmo by Carsaid. Okay, now I'm gonna use Diamond Flash just a little bit, just to add a little star into it. In fact, I'm gonna put it out in the palette, like a gentleman, put it out in the palette. And then I'm just going to take an oval brush, clean this first, which is clean first. And go, uh, Diamond Flash, that is a uh, reflective glitters. No colors, so you can add in, in any colors. Ooh, little Diamond Flash. Mm -hmm. See, it, it's not solid, so it doesn't cover anything. It's not like silver glitters. It's more like twinkles, little twinkles. If you're looking at, at it really close, it's like little white twinkles. <gasps> like it? Here, yeah. of course. Thank you, thank you. This is also a money maker. You see the process? <laughs> the process is fun. This is fast money, and then these are what you learn. So you know a little more about layers, about how to dissect a layer, how to create art for, for the futures. But this, you can make money now with this. Now, this right here, I need black art gels. 
Okay. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Cassie. Thank you, Tix, the pole dancer. She calls so many people love it. Okay, so zoom in. in. Black Archer. I'm still using 10 millimeters. Okay. But on the eye, I'm thinking that the seven will be better. Actually, the seven will be better with this too. She's trying to look black, but try my best to uh, still let people see some of the yellow peeking out from the background so it looks brighter. Okay. So now. After I'm done with the eye, uh, I am gonna take white. I, I mean, I am gonna take pink art gel first. And then blue art gel. So for blue, I am getting both blue and indigo. Blue, indigo, and then pink art gel. So all three are art gel. using blue first. I am just tracing around this edge right here with a blue object. like that, all over. Okay, here. You miss the alien pick and polish? Oh, by the way, um, people have been saying that lately Instagram have um prevent them from um from scrolling back and forth but the other day the other day uh i watched one of my live from a different account and and it's work hold on let me see no not this okay tino boda shop so i'm at the crystal nail ferry and i'm watching uh one of tino Vo live look I can scroll back and forth. What? So I don't know what's going on. Maybe your phone have a problem with uh, like a setting, like an Instagram setting. But they say Instagram have changed, but I still can go back and forth. So, so I don't know what's going on. Okay, now I am going to yields. Actually, instead of indigo blue, I will use purples. Purple art gel. Okay, take it out. 
You cannot pause. Okay, let me see. Oh, you're right. Oh, you cannot pause it. Oh, I don't want to like it. Oh, I see. That's a problem. Okay. I mean, that that's not as big as a problem as I thought. I thought that you cannot go back and forth. Now, that's a problem because you have to force watching the whole thing. No, but now you can go back and forth. You just couldn't pause. Okay, okay. Well, that's still a problem. It's just not as catastrophic as I thought because if you cannot, you cannot go back and forth, then then that is a big issue. Then people, I mean, that's that's two three hours. I would like the freedom to uh, move backward or forward. Okay, so, so the problem is a pause. Oh, sorry, cat hair. Oh my God, this month, oh my God, you guys, sell is double this month, thank you. <gasps> oh, January, not February. I don't know February yet, but uh, January is double. Oh, last month, um, December went up big time. Which is strange because usually it's slow in December. But yesterday I just got a new mail from um uh Jan to Feb. Jan to Feb. So deck to Jan and Jan to Feb both doing great. But uh Jan do really good. But I, I am excited to see what February is about. I use it to navigate uh the traffic. Okay, let me see. Where is my glue? Oh, it's put it wrong lid. Okay, so now I'm gonna use pot pink. <sighs> Excuse my language, Tino, but this design on this now stunning, our oh, effing amazing. Oh, thank you, thank you. I only have this as a uh, ideas. These we develop as we go. I got it, uh, the screenshot yesterday. I already fell in love with it. The moment I seen it, like I'm doing it tomorrow. <sighs> See, not that the pink I want. That's the look I want. Is that okay? Now you can have some um, eyelashes. So just get out your green art gel and do some eyelashes. Hello, Adil Adela. Hello, hello. So this is a baroque stroke. Press and lift. So the and can be skinny. Press and look. Press and look. Press and look all the way. Okay. And then when you're done, You take white art gel. Okay, let's keep 
get it first, just in case. Because the next one is pretty um, tricky for me too. Very tricky. Uh, it's a satin ring. Make sure it's thin. It's going to be pretty long, so I'm going to use a 10 millimeter for this. Thank you. Do do you believe in alien? Oh, I know. I know that's alien out there. I know alien out there. But I'm not crazy. I'm not like a crazy person. You know, there's crazy people out there that are like, alien is real, but then they take it way too serious. Paranoia and all that. I'm not crazy. I just know that I mean, I read the planetary system in our orbit. There's like nine different planets. Our sun, you know, is revolving our sun. So our sun is a star. Have you ever looked up on the sky and see how many stars it is? So each star has their own orbital system and make up a whole galaxy. And you know how many galaxy is out there? There's a lot of galaxies out there. There's no way. We, we, we haven't even traveled beyond our galaxy which you are scoped to looking at the distance, the beyond, but there is no way that there's no life out there. And in fact, I think that we are the alien. I think that they, they put us on this world so because it's inhabitable. inhabitable. So they, they put our DNA on this world so we can populate. Okay, now the gel that I took, I drag it out so it's very thin, very, very thin. See that? Thin brush. So now I'm just using the tip. I will make a little curve, but very uh, slightly. Look. Okay. Oh, sorry on it. I'm off screen. I do it again. Okay. So after that, you start to curve in. So this side is like mirror. You're doing this. Okay. So mirror on this side, start by right here, and then you just curve it down. Okay. So that now that become a planet, let's do one down here. So when I zoom in, it's harder for me to keep it still. See, very thin like hair light. How you do that is you just touch the tip. The reason why uh, some people touch the tip, but they have problem keeping it that way, um, because it's unstable, sometimes they actually press, and when they press, it's flare out. The brush is flare out, so the line get thicker. Um, and able to do to uh, fix that when you run, you have to be uh, non hesitated when you run. When you start moving your brush, that's no point to hesitate it because when you hesitate it, that's when your head is performing like a like a train of thought, you know, planning on how to uh, maneuver. And when that happens, you will lose focus. And when you lose focus, you lost, you, your pressure wouldn't be stable. For you to have even pressure, you need a stream focus on that. So back keys, turn the hand over. Okay. 
I'm gonna do some twinkles. Same thing here. Nova. I'm a little sloppy on this twinkle, but that's fine. Okay, now I am going to cure this. I'm going to add twinkle on for these two if I want. Probably use seven millimeters. That will make my twinkle very good. See that? Make it better. Using the seven millimeters, I can have to use proper brushes. Without proper brushes, it make me a little sloppy because it's not the right brush for it. In that core, the eyes, here it is. Okay, now, one last thing before we close the deal on the eye. One last thing, black stained glass shell number 11. I'm going to trabajo. Gracias. Gracias, Emily. Okay, a little more out, actually. Okay, here. Oh, thank you, thank you. She said, fabulous, you always deliver. Thank you, Wendy. Now, I am. This is white art gel. If I do thin enough, I don't have to top coat this. Yeah. Now, matte top coat, everything's. Okay, now tomorrow I want to do mushroom. We're not done with psychedelic yet. I want to do mushroom because there is this black and white suede pattern. Here, so I want to do, I only do it once before, so I want to do it again. Eris Kini or Kada Dia Amas Enamorada de Tu Trabajo. Gracias, Picaros. I was hungry. What did I miss? Oh, just just like low galaxy and some eyes. Not much. Just miss much. Okay, now before we close in the deal on this, I want to try out something. 
this might not work you might be ugly let's try it out so i want to take like a pink or blue and i want to like um to be like this Might be ugly, I don't know. You like it? I like it. No pop. How well fairy tale cover on the black, even you guys. It's like I don't care what the background is. I'm stepping over it. That's what it said. See? Yes. I like it. Oh, should we do more colors? Oh, I like it. It's more attitude. Yes. Yeah. Black look good too. Yes. I, I, that's why I said black look good too. Black look sharp too. But this is like little, like little punch of attitudes. Like, oh, I'm pumping. I like it. I like it. Okay. Yeah. It could be right. Uh, bright green too just so you know don't have to be pink can be green too okay 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 now um i'm gonna uh i have to match that and then see what i'm gonna do with the diamond flash is look good matte or do i have to shine it i don't know i'm happier with this than yesterday let me show you let me show the transition because that is a transition Okay, so this is the first one. I like it. I wish that there's more green in there. That'll be more popping. But I like it. Mm. Oh my god, you see the thumbs already. Okay, so this is the second one. I like it too. It's a little brighter now that green in there, but this one by far is the most colorful. Yeah, I think this one is way more fun than this. So hopefully tomorrow it'll be way funner than today. Funner and funner every day. I didn't say that que colores utilo y la marca RSL llama as fairy tales. Aquí, a fairy tale. It's muy, muy um, uh, bright. It's very bright. Right, muy linda, very pretty. See, okay, now matte it all on everything. But we're not out of the clear yet. We still have this little sparkle here to to think about. We can make this in right away when we see it come out of the machine. Let's take it out early to see. Twinkle still look really darn good. I'm leaving it this way, guy. Twinkle look good. Diamond flash is very strong. Even matte is still very I like it. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put uh any top coat on this. I'm gonna leave it to it like star. It looks like star. I'm gonna leave it that way. Of course, it's gonna be more twinkle if you put uh, some shine on it. So it's up to you. Mm. 
Oh, that's cute. One more time. You guys like it? Another reason why Tino is my favorite artist. Oh, thank you, Alex Fan. Thank you. Yes, yes. I'm cooking on another mat with a different name. They both have different purpose. Oh, time to test this. Shine it again. I mean, not. Will not move. Hmm. All right. So for now, before I find out what's wrong with this, for now, this is what you can do. Let me show you. But I bet most of you have 3D jelly already. This is what you can do for now. is 3D jelly. And this is a new bottle too. So we we'll, again we'll find out if they change the formula of the 3D jelly too. Let's see 3D jelly. Uh, and just a thin layer, not much. Okay. Now, now 3D jelly move a little slower than shine it, but it's also bloom, it just moves slower. As you can tell, it's already bloom. It's very slow. This will also help you on a panic level too. Thanks God I have backup. See this? Bloom slower at a steady rate. Remember this look like it's bloom, but it's not, it's just dripping. See this, this is bloom. When, when it's bloom, you see a milky layer. So you're not really in trouble. You just, you treat each other. And then I find out the issue with the shanded. I mean, not like you can have it. If it doesn't run, it doesn't run. I still like shanded, cut up the scratch proof and it's pigment block, but it's just nicer with that little extra ability. You know what I mean? Okay, so 3D jelly can bloom, and actually you might like it because it blooms really slow. It blooms slower, it comes out more even, you know, and it doesn't drip easy. See, this one is already like drip all the way because it's top coat, but 3D jelly doesn't really drip easy because it's thicker. So, you can use that. Maybe from now on, 3D jelly should be a new friend. Oh, the, uh, that's Lucy. That's Lucy. His name is Lucy. We don't know if he's a boy or girl yet. He yeah, haven't decided. <laughs> I just tease here. <laughs> okay, now. See this? So that is what we're doing today. I have a lot of fun today. And this is very colorful. I love uh, this bright little planet. Miss Lucy, yes, that is Lucy. Who kidnapped? Doesn't no, doesn't work in yesterday. So today he asleep. He in slumber. He like a zombie today. Um. Yes, the uh, his name is Lucy. That's a cat name. Yes, uh, uh, official. Uh, Kiro Esad Unyas and. Mimano, oh, 
He says, uh, I don't now want uh, those nails on his hand. Mm. Uh, his friend locked him in the basement. <laughs> I'm so in love with this design. Yes, sad and fantasy. You're welcome, Queen of Claw. Love these things to black with a bit trim of the nail I try today. Okay, okay. Hola, guapo desde España. Oh, hola, hola, Rosalia, gracias. <laughs> Super Tino, thank you, Lux now. Yes, he is. He's such a sweet, awesome cat. He's the most awesome cat. He's a flam pony me. Okay, so 3D jelly for now. <sighs> oh, from now on. Because... I just ordered like five thousand bottle of Chanel. So, if if they truly change the formulas, then I just have to set up new rules. I have to ask. Let me see. Hola, you know this day when Venezuela. Hola, hola, no, hola, no right. All right. Tino can say enough. You're amazing. Thank you. Give it hand. We want to see Lucy. Yeah. Lucy only want to see when Lucy want to be seen. He's sassy like that. Mm -hmm. He's somewhere out there. Out in the yard or something. He bitching for a little bit and then he's gone. His mermaid life. Make video explain his journey a little bit. Yes, I, I don't remember. Some sometimes people ask and I explain, but I don't remember what's life. I guess you just have to be a, a fan and follow all <laughs> just to know all the little bit and pieces. It's like breadcrumb and just leave it <laughs> here and there. I guess you just have to see it all to put everything together. Man, can touch the bajo, gracias, Rosalia. Have you ever been have an issue with press on shrinking when you apply multiple layer products? Or crystal around the cuticles. Mm -mm. I don't have problem with it. Well, I I don't understand it. Press on shrinking. The cuticles shouldn't shrink. The tip, if it shrinks, the tip should shrink. Press on shrinking when applying multiple layer a product or crystal around the cuticle. No. I, I don't have problem with that. I, I don't have problem with the cuticle being pressed on. I do have problem with uh, press on shrinking a long time ago when I use a hot gel or a, a thick gel. And the tip, it kind of shrinks just a little bit, which is good because it's skinnier. But um, if you have a uh, problem with your cuticle being too thick, I can fix that for you. I'm just don't I don't, don't recognize, I, I don't understand the question of press on shrinking by applying too much on the cuticle. But I will show you what it mean, uh, what you do when you press on, um, you have been too thick around the uh, cuticle. Oh, press on. Oh, I get it now. I thought that you mean by putting the nail onto the, the nail bed and then putting a lot of gel on the cuticle. I get it now. Just like this. And then it's string. Okay, I get it now. It's possible. It's possible. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with that at all. But I know what you're talking about. It's possible. Um, why? Probably because of the gel too thick. Or it's, it's like a um, different gel. But if it polish, I don't have a problem like that with polish at all. So, no. Not at all. Must be the tip that you use and then. Okay, anyway. So, uh, still, I'm going to show you what you do if your uh, cuticle is too thick. So, when I applied it, I always applied it near the cuticle if this layer is not obvious. Okay, like if it's black, then the f if you apply two layers, then the first layer I apply near the cuticle and I cure. And then the second layer I apply from the cuticle. So, it's thinner. And before that, what I do, I never stack right at the cuticle on top of each other multiple times if it's a lot of layers. That's what I would do. I would put it close to the cuticle and then the few final steps, 
then I will start from the cuticle and going down. Again, if that layer is a little bit irrelevant and it doesn't show much. Um, hello, beautiful. I'm from Russia. You have a good job. Thank you, Natasha. Thank you. Hola, mi chulo. Me encanta tu trabajo. Hermoso diseño. Gracias. Gracias, Andrea. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I think we're done with questions. I love that. Thank you, Meta. Thank you, Peter. Yes, Canada. That that um uh, that problem actually is possible. Um, how you can fix that if it reoccurs very often? Because I don't really have press on. First, um, before you change your type of press on you use, uh, let's try this. It's a little bit weird, but what you can do is you can take one plain press on and you can put your press on on it glue it on. So whatever you do, now it's not going to change its shape. You can do that. You can try that. If, you know, if the problem, if you should uh, encounter this problem one or twice, but if you encounter that problem every time, then you have to find a way to fix it. It's always fixed on my hand, so I doesn't encounter that problem. But it's what you can do. I'll show you a way. It's a temporary way until you find out how to fix your problems. Okay, so I'm just finding these tips, right? And on this tip, take like an adhesive nail tap out. I didn't do this before, so I didn't have that problem before. I'm just thinking of, of a way to help you my first time doing it. I'm just, just realizing on theory. So you have this, okay. Now you just take in the nail that you were designed on. Okay. There you go. Now design with it. Okay. Design with it. And then now you have more of a, now it's sticking on somewhere. Okay, so so this can help you, or even something much thinner than this. Okay, so I hope that this help you. Mm -hmm. So it cannot shrink because, or maybe a, a smaller one. Let me try a smaller one to see. You want it to be, oh, that's strong. Oh, maybe you shouldn't do this. It's very strong. Oh, this is way too strong. Don't do that. Uh, let me see. Let me try a smaller one. A baby one. And then tap it a few times. Just make sure it's get weaker. So, okay. Now, see a smaller one. So now it's fit, right? It's fit with the first nail. So... You just design on it like this because it can shrink because there is a nail underneath it. So it's, it, you know, it cannot be smaller without anything then, then it's possible that it might get smaller, but there is a nail, there is a second nail with nothing on it underneath and without nothing on it underneath the first nail is remain its shape because there's nothing on it. So if your issue is to gel, then the first nail will prevent that from happening with the nail on top of it. Okay? Let me open this again. Let me now just the trick is how to retrieve it. After, okay. So just a small tap, the small tap, and then just like that a couple of times. That is how you fix it. For now, before you um find out a more easier way to fix your problem but you couldn't put less gel i mean if that your look then that's your look that's what you have to do so you couldn't take up layer of gel so that is how you fix it, this problem for now i'm glad that you come to me with that problem so now i know that it's out there but i never had that problems
so actually uh so do you do now um on a person or they are press on so i do now on person but i'm gonna do five people's uh, just five models uh every two weeks i do it once on models and i call them models they're my old client the one that i kept only uh five of them that i do and um now on just to just to kind of experiment and practice any look that i'm about to introduce and i used to do press on to uh for sale but it happened three years now i don't do press on for sale anymore because now i teach i teach so i need to save time for teaching so now um these are what i do and then i put on my hand i am my own model i uh, glue it on my hand so i can take picture and video um what were we teaching? Oh, I teach this. Pretty monster. Look at this. Oh, you miss it? Mm. It was fun today. You have to rewatch it now. It's so boring when you rewatch it, though. Because you don't have friends to talk to or hang out with. It's fun, though, when you're on live. But I'm be on tomorrow. Tomorrow at 11 a.m. again. Remember, don't miss this. Okay, let me see. Hola, inspiration now. Me gusta. Me gusta. Mira. This is a space out team. It looks better than I thought. Because this is what in my mind. Nothing else. And then I kind of think of this next. But it's easy to think of galaxy when you deal with alien. And then this I think of last. Thank you, love in 313. Thank you. These are the art that you're going to practice. So you get layer, you get pattern. This is a money maker. You can make it today. You can make money with, with this right now, immediately. Oh, I take a little practice too, but just one or twice and then you get it. It's easier it's, and it's practical. And then there comes the art. And then do all, all of them if you want to be Insta famous. Okay? I want you to come to Montreal. And now I, I only go to Montreal for um oh Monterey. Monterey in Canada. I I will only go to Canada for fun, not for teaching. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe one day. It's definitely not as much fun when you rewatch it. Yes, you're live. But your fashion uh can't keep up yet. Yes. Um before I do the step by step, but I think uh, step by step is a little long for people that learn fast or watch fast or people in a hurry whatever so i i just decide just to do that more and then you can watch it again later but you can skip and scan now when you watch it because there will be detail or part where you know that it's um you can skip it and then there will be part that you know it'll be important to watch it a few times ah uh, thank you tia all right Let's see. No more questions left. Thank you, Nifa. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see. Okay. How do you keep your application so thin and beautiful and not pokey? It's uh, it's due on on the way you're picking up your brush. It's the way you're picking up your brush because, um, let me see. You see this brush right here? Okay. This is how people pick it up. This is a puddle of paint. Okay, and what people do is they take a dry brush. They take a dry brush like this. Okay, now a dry brush meaning it's dry all the way too. There's no product on it, or there might be leftover product, but it's not new product. So it's a brush, right? So let me explain for you the dynamic of the brush. Okay, so thin, more of you doesn't really take it serious. You think that it's so thin that you should dip it on. That's how you pick up gels. Okay. Remember, your brush have the outer layer of bristle, but that's also inside too. So when you just dip it on like this, like that, what you actually do is just coat in the outside. When you wipe it on your nail, one in one wipe, it's gone immediately. Because it's just on the outside. What you have to do is take your brush and draw it, submerge it. You know what I mean? 
you do that. So now the gel it gets in from the outside and it's soaking from the inside. Every brush or have, have white gel on it. It's all in, inside. That's what you do. That's a method that Bob Ross have taught. Okay, I learned it from Bob Ross. Is load your brush first and and some Russian chicks that I don't remember the name, but I learned it from a couple of people. Um, what you do is use really soak it. Okay, so now your brush is half gel in it. Actually, half gel in it, not just on it, but it's in it. So now what you do, that is what people do is they pull it out. So why pulling it out? Pulling it out so the shape is more flatter now. It looks like a pen. It looks like a pen. It's no longer a brush. It's no, look, it's no longer like this. You see the difference? You see the difference? Okay. This has have a lot of gel, but it'll be gone really quick because it not have been soaked with pen yet. This doesn't seem like have a lot of gel, but it does because it's all soaked inside the brush. The brush have now soaked and this is like a pen. You can draw with it now. Okay. So remember the way you load in brush is very different. And most of the time when you see people do it without breaking it apart, this is what you will see. This is what you will see. And and it's way too fast for you to catch on. It's the what you will see. Okay. You will see that. And and basically what they do is this. See, I'm gonna do it again in slow motion. See that is when they load in the paint and then they pull it out. But they do it so fast that you doesn't you thought that oh they just put it in and put it out. No. There is two steps into that. It's not one step. But just because they do this, so you play like, Oh, I can do that too. So that's when you're taking a brush and you do this. Oh, I can do that too. But it's not the same as what they do. So again, in slow motion, you go in. And this is not a pour. I mean, it is a pour, but I'm pressing it down too, like you're doing laundry. See that? I'm pressing it down. And now I pull it out. See, I pull it out. You just have to remember how to load your brush. Okay, I hope that answer your question. And when you draw, remember, I'm gonna do it again. So I told you how to load your brush. Now I'm gonna show you how to draw. So when you're drawing, take a new palette. So when you're drawing, okay, so if I just touch the tip, like a pen and it's poor my line will be thinner than if I press if I press then my line will be thicker that's simple at that a symbol at that is because if you don't press then your brush will keep its shape if you press then it'll get bigger see it's in shape it get bigger so due to pressure okay so when people start using the tip they have trouble keeping up with the pressure they're using the tip okay and let's say i'm making a letter a so they like oh you know what i mean and then they press a little bit okay and they come over here and they draw another line okay and they the pressure i have, I have tried to be imperfect but um Right here, you know, and they actually press it a little bit. And why is that happening? Why why is that happening? Is that because the hand is unstable? No. It because of this. When you first drawing, when you when you first start to draw, there is two things that people are uh, juggling with when they draw. The first thing is a pattern. The pattern is a direction. Letter A have a pattern slant it down, slant it down this way. When a human drawn the pattern, the eye and navigate the pattern. Should I tilt it like this or should I do like this? So a pattern is a direction. 
Okay, so there are a lot of brand brain power behind that pattern right here. It's on camera now. It's back on now. So that is a lot of brain pattern, a lot of thought behind how to construct the pattern because you have to know where to go. You know, you start at this angle and then you have to worry about is this, is it over here or is it a little in or is it a little out? You know what I mean? So the, the brain are working at that moment. But the second step that a human have to worry about is the consistency of the line. A consistency of the line is if I touch it light, I have a light line. If I touch it low hard, I have a slightly thicker line. If I touch it really deep, I have a thicker line. But you see, the, per the point is for it to be equal from top to bottom, all the way through. So, a person that start with medium pressure have to try to keep their pressure medium all the time as they go. So let's say my pressure getting a little light here. So I notice and I have to like, I have to press it. Okay, keep, keep the same pressure, same consistent pressure. So now that's two things to juggle. So when an artist start drawing, a beginner, the proper step that a beginner should do is using the lightest touch without worrying about con consistency. Light it, touch, and plan out your pattern first. Okay, light it, touch, to plan out the pattern. Now you know where to go. Then you go in and you focus on your pressure. Now you don't really need to worry about where to go because you know where to go. You already mark it. So now you go in with your pressure. See that? Because there is a couple steps to achieve perfect line work. And a beginner have to break up those steps apart because, because a pro, when they draw, okay, when they draw, they have to worry about where to go and, con and the consistency of, um, of the thickness at the same time. So they go here, they start to press, they hold in, they press, they pressure while they navigate where to go. Okay. This is when you bump into trouble because you try to do that. Okay. So they're navigating the pressure and they also navigating the pattern at the same time. It's what you don't need to do that now. And in, in, fact, in fact, you don't ever need to do that. You do what easier for you. So that is, and a person, a normal person that try to do that, that is when the line is crooked. Because now, at, at first, they got the pressure down, right? But now they have to worry about where to go. So now their mind is thinking. It's thinking, so when it thinks, your hand doesn't listen, and your hand move wherever it needs to move, and it press where it needs to press because their brain doesn't use to think about two steps at one. So it doesn't use to think about navigation and, and the thickness at the same time. Your brain can do that because it's never do that before, right? Like riding bike, when you do something multiple times over and over and over, you would develop a proper muscle memory for it. But you first started out, you don't have a muscle memory for it yet. So you have no clue. It's like you riding a bike. It's going to be just like riding a bike, just like a kid. Inconsistent. It's going to be, it's going to weigh because you, it's not because the hand is not in control. It's not that. It's not because the hand is shaky or unstable. It's because the man, when people have shaky hand, it's not really because something's wrong with the hand. It's in here because we send in electrical signal down to here constantly. So if there is a disruption, you know, if you're busy up here, you're, that's nerve. You would experience nerve. So you have to calm down and take one step at a time. Don't try to think too much. Don't try to think about how to press and then where to go and where to curve. Am I cutting to the right? Am I going a little bit up or I'm going to go a little up? You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not consistent. So just remember that. Remember that a beginner should draw line work like a beginner's. Break it apart. Make it easier for you. And one day, if you can 
Till now, till now, I don't really do two things at once. I should do sometimes when I'm in a hurry. But now, if I want perfect line work, I still sketch out my pattern and then go over with pressure. I still do that. When, I'm, when I want something to be super perfect, I do that. Okay. I hope that answered that question. Let me see anything else. Wow, thank you. Welcome, Sandra. You're welcome, Sandra. You're welcome, uh, Emmy. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. I found an easy way to do land work is mark my start medals and an end and make my land. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Proportion. That's good too. Uh, no, now, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, Anoy now. Imperial nails. American Tan, gracias, gracias, Alos. Thank you, May. You're welcome, Jesse. You're welcome, Tin K uh K U. Uh you last Kero soy de Mexico. Oh I soy the uh uh you need a status. I soy the estado you need us. Um and uh, Missouri, Springfield, Missouri. Uh uh Kero uh Kiro Kiro um uh Kiro ya ya uh Mexico uh voy a Mexico luego voy a Mexico luego um just for fun solo uh no um no aso se las um las uñas en Mexico voy a Mexico uh for, for uh Party, you know. Luego voy a muy loco en Mexico. Uh, excellent, gracias. Un, un uh, amor. Oh, de nada, Ficaro. De nada. Thank you. Thank you. Let's now. I hope you guys have fun today. Set your alarm for tomorrow. Oh, Jesse say can't wait to meet you one day. I'm in beauty show. I'm in beauty show in Chicago and Orlando this year. Two beauty shows. Para fiesta. Sí, voy a México. No, no quiero hacer las uñas en México. Quiero, uh, quiero tengo un loco fiesta. Sí, loca fiesta, fiesta muy loca. Sí, sí. Luego. Mm -hmm. Fiesta en México. En mm -hmm. trabajo te admiro mucho. Gracias, gracias, Maggie. Uh, what time you go live again? 11 a.m. tomorrow is when I go live. 11 a.m. Thank you, thank you, para uh, para Dick now. Thank you. Yeah. I, I I need to learn my Spanish. Like, like seriously, learned it. I I just I learned it like two days last week, and then I just I forget about it. I need to learn it. I want to travel. When I travel to a country, I want to speak the language because I I don't want to be a tourist. You know, tourists a tourist will get what a tourist deserves is overpriced stuff and non-authentic food that was a tourist deserve and i don't want to be a tourist when i go to mexico i go to spain i go to spanish country i want to speak it like a native so no one would trick me you know vendor vendor in asia oh my god when i see american like a five dollar they'd be like ten dollars okay so that it was a tourist deserve so i don't want to be a tourist i want to be speak just like a native i want to understand the language so i want to go to um spanish country first uh, i have a lot of country i want to go to italy spanish country um uh, i want to go to germany i want to go to russia so i my first one is spanish i gotta learn spanish which won't take me no time at all i got i i I, the, the grammar is kind of vague to me because I learned it 10 years ago. I can pick up grammar fast. And give me like two months, I can pick up on grammar. And then the rest is just vocabulary, which is easy. I can remember vocabulary all day long. Let me see. All right, everyone. 
seem like we are reaching near the end. Uh, Desperia, Ponella, Las Oñas, uh, Kylie Jenner. <laughs> no, no. I don't do now for celebrity because I passed that state. Um, a person uh, like my friend Jenny. Jenny do now for celebrity. Um, an artist will do now for celebrity at the stepping stone because, um, because then that, that will be enriching the uh, public profile, you know, the media. But at this point, I already went into into selling so i already passed it right now doing now for a celebrity wouldn't do me any good at all it wouldn't do my algorithm instagram algorithm any good neither well maybe with kylie that'd be better but still right now you you don't when you um start owning business i i don't know i should not in the mood to deal with celebrity because my friend my friend kenny do now for um Cardi B, um, first you have to sign a contract. I hate signing contract. You have to fly over um, and then wait for them to want to do the now, you know, have fly over a week. Mm, California, whatever it is. And you have to stay in the motel room a week. You can pay daily, little by little. Money is no issue, but really, um, to a point where she just so, so tired. You know what I mean? Because she missed out quality time at home. And she gets to a point where it doesn't really do her any good. It only comes to a point. It only serves you a certain purpose to a point. And then at that time, you have to, have to carry on by yourself. Where were I going with that? Let me see. Let me see if I have another question. Anikita, oh, you're welcome, Channel Now. Almost two videos. Oh, the nada. Anifa, the nada. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Hola, una filma. Hola, Adoya. Thank you. It's tiny, little hot. It's a little embossed hot. It just makes me feel like a cloud. It makes me feel good. Uh, let me see. Uh, I'm allergic to gel polish. Oh, what type of material can I use? <sighs> You're allergic to nail po gel polish. Then you cannot use gel polish. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. So that's ink. Okay. So that's a little fun. It's an awful lot of fun. You need to buy all the ink. White ink, black ink, brown ink, buy all the ink. Because you need ink. Okay, so ink is not a gel. That's one. <sighs> pigment. But pigment needs to be applied with gels. Now, with, um, with gel, with polish, it's still going to stick on, but timing is crucial. When you first put it on, it's super wet. You cannot apply pigment on them. Uh, wait for about 30 seconds. You have to experiment with yourself. 30 seconds with polish. And then brush it on to see if good yet. If it's on nicely, then that's good. If not, wait for a little bit more. But I warn you, if you wait too long, then polish will get really solid. That pigment couldn't get on it at all. So play with your timing with polish. So pigment is number two. That if you're allergic to gel, you can use that. Oh, chrome, chrome. So all the chrome you can find, use that. You are the chrome glitters. Now glitter apply on polish is also a little tricky. Mm, so you have to play with your timing. Definitely not when it's wet uh, because you want to dust it on. Mm, yeah, on a sticky base coat, on a base coat. <laughs> Try that. Okay, so glitters. Um, uh, oh, that's so bad that you don't, you cannot use gel. That's, that's the big part of it is gel. You can use flake, glitter, flake, pigments, ink. Um, that's it. I can think of for now. Dry flowers. A acrylic paint. There you go. People that couldn't mess with gel at all, then because the reason why I don't mess with acrylic paint because it's dangerous for gels. But I mean, if you don't use gel, then by all means, use acrylic paint because top coat, uh, regular top coat can top coat acrylic paint very well. So there you go. 
if you uh, polish acrylic pen is your best friend uh what is the best nail art brush um not best the most popular nail art brush every nail art brush is good the question is which one do you use the most i use 10 and 20 the most this one you don't have to buy it for now the five and seven but eventually you need it you play with land work long enough you need it you need the fine seven eventually now the most popular brush is a flat and ombre not because of the flat part it's because of the ombre part this ombre brush is very special it's the full full ombre brush it can do a lot so this is the most uh, popular is the 10 and 20 and then the flat and ombre two of that is the most popular uh, let's see what's next street in oh, not too popular this uh, stock and angle uh, filler and fishtail is next and pointy and brown so pointy and brown and filler and fishtail that is the next popular brush um this, this one is really fun to use this one yields for certain stroke like a daisy stroke okay so two of these and then going down the line, going down angle and stroke, uh, stroke and angle brush also, and then 3D and over brush. 3D and over brush is the least popular brush. And when I say least popular, I mean is the least uh, popular on sale brush because it's so common. Like there's nothing special about this brush. Everybody has this. Everybody have a 3D and over brush. Everyone that I know have this for sale. So it's not too popular. It's not unique like any other brush. So that answer that. Let me see what else. What buffer do you use? Are you Tammy Taylor buffer? Tammy Taylor buffer, non uh, clean finish. Let me, Tammy Taylor's. Okay, take a picture of this. That's why you very expensive though. Be be aware. Be ready to pay a very expensive price. Oh May, I ha I haven't go to the store yet. Remember May, I don't drive. I don't drive, so uh I forgot about it. Um I I I, I remember. I buy some for you. Because uh, May is from Canada and in Canada it's like fifty dollar uh a, a, a buffer. This is seven dollars. Seven dollar and fifty cent. Okay, clean finish buffer. So it's very expensive, but it's very good. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. May I? I don't have the buffer yet. I don't drive. I don't drive. So when I want to go shop or something, I plan out a day, and then I have some people take me. So so I will remember when I get to the um. When I get to the store, I need to do it soon. But I know you've been waiting to order product. Um, I will do it. I try to do it this week. I try to do it this week, and then I let you know. Cause I need some new one too. I need some new buffer and file. Uh, let me see. Let me see. How can you do ombre design? I've been trying, but it's hard for me to blend between colors. I can do one very quick for you. I can do one real quick for you. Um, Cause I explained ombre before. I just it's just all over my life, so I can just do a real quick one right now. Uh, let Let's do a nude, uh, a a traditional nude and white ombre. Let's do a traditional white ombre. Okay, so nude. First, you apply your colors, and then you apply your tips to cure this. Okay, so I'm using a sponge. This is my ombre sponge. Okay. Now, I know that there is a pen going around out there, but remember, not all sponge is the same. Remember that. Remember that. Okay, so I'm using a sponge. Okay, now. This is a palette. In fact, I will demonstrate a black and nude ombre so you see better. Okay, so this is black 
Okay. This is nude. Now, it's not an ombre yet on the palette. And your job is to make it ombre on the palette. Okay? So that's what you do. So now, look. I want you to look at this black line right here. This black line right here is so sharp and solid. Okay? So what I'm going to do is, am I starting in the middle? No. I'm starting right here. So the black only get a little bit. The black it's only get to about right here, just a little bit, okay, on the bottom. That's what I'm going to do. So I will take the ombre brush, I will put it in my fingers, and the ombre sponge, and then I will start right here, and I will run one line through, and I want you to look at the black. Okay, don't look at the new. I want you to look at the black and see how it take up the thickness, the, the solidness. Okay, I'm going to run one line too. I'm going to dab. I'm going to run it too. See that? You see right now, the black is no longer solid. Right now, the black is smudges. Okay? It's lighter. Now, from here, so what's going on here is, Okay, so when I ran over the black, it get onto my sponge. The nude, it gets onto my sponge. So now, if I were to go down just a little bit more, what happened is this much black where it's really light now, it's going to get onto my nude. So a light color of black, and the nude, it will blend, and will make another color right in the middle. Okay, that's why I don't go in the between in the beginning because the black is too strong. I need to uh, weaken it. So now I'm going over a few times just to make sure that, see, I tilt it, tilt it left and right just to make sure that it gets all the way through. Okay, now, see, I'm ready. Now the, my black is super light. I'm ready to move from here down a little bit. Not much, just down a little bit. And in fact, I need to put nude on the top. Just in case, just make sure it have nude color. Now, look, I go down just a little bit. Start to blend already. Okay, go up a little bit. What happened when I go up? Some of this black. When I go up right here, some of this black on the sponge is stick on to the palette. So now there is a thinner layer of it. If your nude is too weak, you add more nude, okay? So up, down, up, down, okay. Okay, you see this? You see this part right here? This part right here, when it's blended together, there's no longer a sharp edge. There is a transition from nude to whatever it is mixed together. Ooh, oops. And then black, okay? So there is a transition going on here. And you might have to apply more nude multiple times because it is a very soft color compared to the strong black. Nude is very soft, soft colors. Ooh, kind of... I kind of mess it up a little bit. This is a mess up sponge. Okay, so I'm going to make one again really quick. This time, you can watch more clearly. It's going a little crazy. So it's messed up my sponge. Okay, okay. so nude and black. See my sponge empty state. Now, now I don't have to stop in between, but you already know the step. So watch. Okay, just remember, you want that, that what you want. Now, you have an ombre sponge. The rest is good to go. Now, you take out your gel. What you do is you paint just a layer of black. Just make 
sure that you have this solidness and you have your sponge already have an ombre so now this sharp line right here okay you need to smudge it out tap gently on the surface okay don't worry about making it perfect here now did you want to soften out that edge before you use a color pigment powder to the clear white paint for this design did you have clear or full no i I'm, I am full cured. The only time that you have here is a top coat, but never a polish. Polish doesn't polish either is cured all the way and it stick, or it does not build for pigment. But if you have here your polish, you will have you have problem right away. You have problem. Um, it will chip easier and all that. So make sure that your polish is full cured. Now a top coat, that is when you can have cured it because top coat is see-through, don't have pigment in it, doesn't wrinkle or anything like that. Okay, now you take this, time to add in the ombre. So I go up just a little bit to make sure that I have this ombre sponge on my nails. Okay, the trick here is to flash here. doesn't work. Because if you're not flat here, you just move in wet gel around. Okay. When you already sponge a little bit right here, it look more beautiful, but it have a little bit that you need to adjust. I'm not going to sponge it again. I want to make sure that this is frozen first. Okay, and since it's sponging, it's very thin. It's froze very quickly and very fast. I'm almost out battery. Okay. Now. Okay, good. I'm um, plug it in. Huh? Mm -hmm. Now. Froze it first, so you can do it again. See, because now you you are sponging on dry gel, not wet gel. It'll be easier for you. Look how beautiful the ombre is. You don't care about what's down here. It's just solid colors. All you care is for your sponges to be beautiful. A fine de definition between the new and the black, and a nice blend in between. It will make your dream come true with ombre. You will never have so much fun with ombre. All your set going to have ombre in it. When you start to get at it and you start to have fun with it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and when it comes to ombre, when, when people ask me in the middle of the process, like, like I'm, I'm, I'm making like an alien now or something, and I need like an ombre as a background, I, I don't really go into a lot of details because the ombre is not really the lesson, but I I feel like this after hour ombre um, cover a lot of details. So if later on you bump into anyone that have question about ombre, please remember this video from me and recommend it for them because a lot of people struggle with ombre, but they should not struggle with ombre. Um, oh, one more thing. So you see this texture right here? Okay. This texture come right here is because of you sponging. When you sponging, that little bump of gel, okay? And when light reflecting it, it look bumpy. I want you to look past the bump because when the top coat on and it completely level, it will go away. So I want you to look past the bump. So how do you do that? You can change your angle to what the light doesn't reflect it and you only look at the colors because the color is what count if the color is bumpy then you need you need a few more time but if your color is even then you should ignore this little reflection right here the first time i teach ombre i go very fast just because I thought that it's common sense, 
the second I want people to see how fast the ombre can be done. But um, until now, we just get going slower and slower and slower going to demonstrate the ombre because I found out that it's just so much to it that people are bypass. Just little hand movement, like don't smut, don't press too hard because you're squeezing water out of it. Not water, you're squeezing gel out of it. You know, I have the sponge, so it becomes lumpy. You don't want that. You want to touch it to the little. Now, I am going to put a mat on, look. Now, you see this little bum? You see how bum it is? Now, look. Okay. okay. Bum away. Here. One, two. Wait, let me see. Oh, here again. I'm sorry. Over here. Okay. See that? Do you see how flawless the ombre is? Okay. If you don't have such a sponge, can you also do it with a makeup someone? Yet yeah, you can. Yet yeah, you can now dread. Um uh before before this happened, I you makeup sponge. Now makeup sponge again, you have to be aware that there's many, many makeup sponge out there. What you need to find is this because i have tried all the makeup sponge before and it did not work so let me let me try it out for you you need this and you will know the moment i try it so it looked like this it like a triangle Okay, and it's, it's come in a package, and it's packaged like this, and you just take it out. You remember the wide little triangle? Yeah, that, that's the one. That's the one, not the flat little circle one. It did not work. It's too dense to, to suck up the sponge. You want this little white, little white triangle right here? That which one. Okay, so you get that. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> All right, I have to get up now. It's almost four hours, so Instagram about to kick me out. If it's four hours, we have a lot of fun today. So we uh, on having a long live today. Makeup sponge that work for me? Yeah, yeah. Right now, if you don't have um this sponge right here, then you just find that makeup sponge. But I'm telling you that a lot of makeup sponge. It's too dense, you know, and that makeup sponge, the texture is not fine at this. It's a little more porous, but that would do for you. That would do for you until you can find the sponge. Um, I'm working out on a deal to make the sponge cheaper. Uh, I'm finding a new vendor, and this vendor is not a trading company. It's a whole factory. They have their own factory. Oh, my God. Gonna be awesome. They can ship really quick. Oh, you're gonna be the best. Um, you're welcome. Love in three one three. Oh, thank you, Liz. Thank you. Hi, Jackie. Jackie Meza. Oh, thank you, Mency. Love you too, Mency C. Many C. Many C. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, do you sell the sponge? What category is it? Um, the sponge is in essential category. So on um, shop is in essential category. So it's in the essential category. You can find a, a sponge there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Bye, bye, me, bye, May. Have a good day. Bye, Instagram, see your nails. Bye, 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 bye. Let me see again. Ah, oh, Becky, look at this, Becky. Ah, uh, saludos de Venezuela, Dios bendigas. 
to uh, the stress uh, is uh, the yen uh, the uh, conocimiento conocimiento sacas uh, cada día más hermosos tus trabajos me encantan oh gracias gracias yes yes sis de Venezuela thank you thank you all right I'm out here I will post it in five minutes <laughs>